Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. We've got the official Final Fantasy 15 system requirement, so I want to go over that. And I want to point your attention to a game that's free for the weekend over on Steam. It's an awesome game, and I doubt that hardly anybody else on YouTube is really promoting it, so I wanted to put some attention on it, make sure that you guys give it a chance because it is a great game. And I'll talk about that in a little bit. First of all, I do want to talk about the Final Fantasy 15 PC system requirements, which have been officially revealed. Now, to give you some background on Final Fantasy 15, the game was in development for a very long time, originally announced back in 2006 as Final Fantasy Versus 13. At that point in time when this game was announced, it was said to be a PlayStation 3 exclusive, and at that point, you know, PC wasn't really even getting any Japanese games. Finally, 10 years later, it was released in 2016 for PS4 and Xbox One, and earlier this year, it was announced to be coming to PC as well. And that's amazing because the fact that this game runs on the PlayStation 4 is pretty amazing. This is a gorgeous game, but it does have its technical limitations on the PS4 and it'll be very nice to see the shackles come completely off when the game hits the PC early 2018. Now let's take a look at the system requirements real quick. For minimum CPU requirement you're looking at an Intel Core i5 2400 or an AMD FX 6100. Recommended CPU requirement is an Intel Core i7 3770 and an AMD FX 8350. If you are trying to build an elite gaming PC honestly an i5 is starting to become not enough at this point. We saw with Assassin's Creed Origins that it is very beneficial to have an i7 or a Ryzen variant CPU. So if you are building a PC in the near future and you're looking to make it a really high quality gaming PC to run games that are coming out like your Final Fantasy 15s and your Assassin's Creed Origins, maybe check out an i7 or a Ryzen variant because a lot of games have been utilizing more than four cores and it's becoming something more and more prevalent with a lot of games releasing these days. You can still get away with an i5, but if you are really trying to get that elite experience, an i7 is becoming more and more beneficial official, not just an i7, the higher end Ryzen CPUs as well. For RAM requirement, you're looking at a minimum RAM requirement of 8GB and recommended as 16. That doesn't come as too much of a shocker to me. I think this is going to be a game that's really going to benefit from having more than 8GB of RAM, 16 being ideal as by the recommended system requirements. I still expect users with 8GB of RAM to squeak by, but if you have 4GB of RAM, well that might be an issue. But yeah, nothing too surprising there. And for video card requirement, this is actually a little lower end than I thought it would be. At minimum requirement you're looking at an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 760 that's nothing crazy at all that's like a mid-level GPU that was released a couple years ago by today's standards it's one of the lower end GPUs you're gonna find recommended on the other hand is an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 they don't specify whether a three gigabyte or a six gigabyte is ideal I imagine that this is a game that you want to have more than three gigabytes on I would think that having six gigabytes would be preferable but they don't list that outright the 1060 is a very good GPU but for a while we were thinking that this game is gonna need like a 1080 Ti to run at 1440p. I'm sure if you want to play this game at 4K, a 1080 Ti would be ideal in that scenario, but at 1080p, you should get by with a 1060. At 1440p, you're probably going to be looking at a 1070, 1070 Ti range. So yeah, Final Fantasy 15 is one of my most anticipated PC games. It's coming to PC with 4K high resolution textures. It'll feature some NVIDIA Gameworks effects like NVIDIA Turf effects for realistic grass simulation, Hairworks, which is probably going to butcher the performance, NVIDIA Flow. NVIDIA HFTS Shadows and NVIDIA VXAO. Does seem to be an NVIDIA geared game, so it'll be interesting to see how it runs on AMD hardware as well. So enough about Final Fantasy 15, very excited about that, but also want to point your guys' attention to this game that it's available for free over the weekend on Steam, and that's Hell Divers. This is an awesome top-down cooperative game that's very similar to Magicka, and it is made by the same developers, so it makes sense. It's a top-down cooperative shooter, and you can kill your teammates. It's just a lot of fun. It has some great particle effects. And it's a game that I think a lot of people missed out on on PC. It originally released on PlayStation 4, then later came to PC in 2015. And it is just a very good game. Like I said, free for the weekend. It is also on sale as a part of the Halloween sale. 50% off for $10. I know that is a little steep for a game like this. I fully expect Helldivers to eventually be a part of like a humble bundle or something like that. But yeah, even at that $10 price point, it is a very good game. I just know that right now with the Halloween sale, $10 can get you really high quality games. As you guys might have seen from my last video, games under $5. So I don't know if Helldivers ranks up with them. But if you can convince a couple of friends to download it as well, you can have a lot of fun with Helldivers. And I think it's one of the more underrated games on PC. Just a very, very fun game. And it seems like those on Steam agree. It's got 92% positive reviews recently. And all time, it's 92% positive as well. I know Steam reviews aren't the be-all, end-all. But I sometimes like to look at them. And it gives you an idea if people do like the game or not. So yeah, definitely check out Helldivers. 
tickets for free for the weekend, 50% off as a part of the Halloween sale, a great game that went criminally underrated, so check that out. That's gonna wrap up this video, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about the Final Fantasy 15 system requirements, and let me know if you've played Helldivers. If you haven't, definitely give it a look. Download it. You've got another two days to try it out, and it is a very fun game. As always, thanks for watching. If you have a request for a future video, you can leave that in the comment section down below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.